I've noticed how I am perceived differently by people now since I've lost a considerable amount of weight. I'm still classified as morbidly obese by many medical measures, but previously I was grossly morbidly obese and I weighed 410 pounds. I was huge. In many ways now, I'm kind of like a regular fat person rather than someone who was hugely morbidly obese. And that is what's changed the perception of people towards me. And I've observed this phenomenon both in my professional and personal life. It's perhaps the most complex of the factors associated with my dramatic weight loss. It's one thing I find really hard to fathom is why people perceive me so differently just because I'm smaller than I was. I'm basically the same person as I was two years ago and for many years prior to that. The only difference is I am carrying less excess weight. I'm now at a stage where I feel that I'm considered like a normal person, where at 410 pounds, I did sometimes feel that in some people's eyes, I was kind of subhuman. I understand that there are many poorly educated people in this world, and there are some people who are intolerant of anyone who is in any way different to themselves or to what they consider to be a standard or a norm. But some of the discrimination which larger people receive is found in places where one really wouldn't expect it to be. And quite often from people who you'd expect to know a lot better. For example, whilst at my largest, I attended several job interviews. Some of these interviews were online and others were face to face. When I was applying for jobs, my wife would often joke with me that she hoped that it would be an online interview and they wouldn't call me to attend an interview in person. We understood that my chances of getting a job were significantly improved if the meeting was online. In fact, over the best part of a decade, I never once got a job where I went physically and attended the interview. Where I had reasonable success online, probably the same sort of proportion as anyone else would have. I do not equate the type of discrimination that overweight people face as in any way equating to that of people from other minority groups. And I'm not going to try to suggest that it is in any way. But there is a reality to this type of discrimination which large people, fat people, do face. Like any sort of discrimination, it originates in the fact that people make prejudgments and are thus prejudice, and they draw stereotypes about people who are plus size. An overweight person is considered by many in society to be lazy. And many would also consider that they have brought their own problems upon themselves. Who would employ a person who is morbidly obese? Who would employ a person who hasn't even taken care of themselves? How would they entrust them in a position of responsibility in a company, business or organization? After all, such a person has very little self-discipline and no restraint. In reality, few employers will actually stop to think and consider the factors which may have led to a person to become overweight in the first place. And there are a complexity of factors which lead to people becoming overweight. And it can be galling for someone who is overweight to be passed over for a job which they are eminently qualified for, and more often than not, perhaps the best person for the job. One of the things with obesity is the fact that it's very visible. Where someone who's applying for a job who may have a problem with alcohol or drugs has invisible symptoms and thus can mask them completely in the process of applying for a new job. I really feel there's a lack of compassion towards people who are dealing with issues with food and particularly the sorts of issues which can lead to people consuming too much food and gaining a lot of weight. People are reluctant to show empathy towards oversized people. Many of the factors which have led to them becoming large are deep-rooted psychological factors. My best guess for the reason for this type of discrimination 
is that it often comes down to optics. Fat people, sadly, are not considered to be aesthetically pleasing to the majority of people living particularly in many Western societies. And thus, their issues that they face, including that of seeking employment, are often marginalised and disregarded by people in power to make things different. Now, I am happy that I am perceived differently because I've lost weight. It's allowed me to empower myself on a personal level, but I am deeply unhappy that these factors still continue in so many societies across the world. And it would be wonderful if people could actually accept people and judge them based upon their experiences, their capabilities, their education and their qualifications, rather than the size of their belly.